Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Hold on. Good. Hold on. Give me one second. Okay, give me one second here. Okay, everybody can hear me, correct? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, good. So welcome. And there you go. Okay, well, I see some familiar faces. I see Claudia, I see Allison. that I know. Jose Isaias, I think I know you. Lisa Castillo, hi. Hey, I... Hi, well, I see some faces I don't know. Uh, Nady, hi, Nady. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, I see Sulma. Hello, Allison, how are you? Hello, Hello, I'm fine. And you? Right. Uh, I'm I'm good. Thank you for asking. Good to see you. Okay, class. Uh, Boris. Hi, Boris. Hello, Rafael. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, da, da, da. hi, Sarah. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. What about you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Nady. Here we have. Hi, Nady. Jose Francisco, Alejandra, Ana Garcia, Joel, Rodrigo, Daniel, Dennis, Jose Jovito. Hello. Hello. Good night, teacher. Hey, Dennis. What's up? Hey, teacher. All good, all good. All, all is well. Okay, thank you class. Hi, welcome. Uh, welcome to English class. I will need a favor from you, please, if you could. It would be great. And this is from Insaforp, but I would really appreciate if you do have a camera, please turn on your camera because for two reasons. Number one, that you are in class and you're active in class because, because sometimes people are may, maybe not connected. Thank you, Jose. Dennis, Jose, Alejandro, Rodrigo, Ana, Diego. Oh yeah, well, Dennis, there's Dennis. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi. I couldn't answer before because uh, I don't know what happened. It's okay, but thank you for being active. Okay, thank you. Solo puedo decir una, una solo puedo decir rápido. Eh, de verdad, eh, Instafor nos pide que les digamos Les insistamos que por favor enciendan su cámara. Porque lastimosamente es la única forma de tomar asistencia. Esa es una. Y número dos. Para saber si ustedes están en la clase. Porque mucha gente, no se dicen aquí ustedes, pero muchos solo se conectan y están 
viendo tele, están haciendo otras cosas y está bien, pero es mala onda para sus compañeros porque igual todos tienen que participar y eso pasa mucho. Se le dice a tal persona, ok, tal persona, your turn. Y esa persona se ve conectada, pero como no tiene cámara, tiene, está en mudo. Allá a los cinco minutos aparece. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, entonces. No sabemos por qué hay gente que se conecta y no. Eh, Me tienen a lo que digo, pues. Entonces. Y después sin se fue, no, porque después la gente dice no aprendí nada. No aprendí nada, no aprendí nada. Cuando ellos regresan, ven los videos. Y ven, ok, pero esa persona nunca tenía cámara, <coughs> oh, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces les pido eso. Y ah, hemos tenido casos también de gente que se enoja porque el profesor o profesora no los pone, no los, no, no participan en la clase. Pero obviamente no. Quizás el profesor o la profesora no los llama porque no los ve, ni los ve conectados, ni, lo, ni los oye hablando o participando. Entonces asume que no están en clase. Le va a dar prioridad a los que están activos, a los que tienen la cámara. ¿Me entienden? Solo le puede pedir eso, por favor. Yes, entonces. All right. Ok, so. Uh, dun, 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 dun. So, just real quick, tell me uh, your name and where are you from? Rafael, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Cojute Peque. All right, Cojute. Claudia Maria, you're from um, uh, da, 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 Santa Tecla, no? Yes, I am yeah. from Santa Tecla. All right, cool. Claudia Marcela? I'm from Sonsonate. Oh, Sonsonate. Nice. Jose Jovito. I am from Santa Tecla. Oh, do you know Claudia? Yeah, no. I don't okay. know Claudia. All right. Nady, where are you from? I'm from Santa Ana, teacher. All right, Santa Ana. Boris? I'm from San Juan Opico, teacher. San Juan Opico is. Is going to Sonsonate or Santa Ana, correct? Going to Santa Ana. Going to Santa Ana. All right, cool. Uh, Jose Portillo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Where are you from? La Palma. La Palma is Chalatenango, right? Yes. Hey, uh, Jose, I've been your teacher before, correct? Yes. Yeah, I remember you. I remember you from La Palma, yes. That was last year. Excuse me? It was last year, correct? Yes. Yeah, I remember you. Okay. Dennis? San yep. Martin. Yeah, that's right. I'm All right. San Martin City. And Lisette, I remember Lisette is from Ilo Vasco, no? Or yes, teacher. Ilo Vasco. Ilo Vasco, yes. All right. Sulma Beatriz, where are you from? I'm from Apopa. Apopa City. All right. Claudia, wow. where are you from? Wow. Claudia Marcela. I said I'm from Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. You switched. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, you see what happens is that like, when, when somebody joins the class, they, oh, everybody moves. Mm -hmm. All right. Maria Susana, where are you from? You're on mute or your microphone is not working. I think your microphone is not working. Hi. Hi. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you better now. Okay. All right. Where are you from? I'm from San Miguel. Oh, San Miguel. Yes. All right, Allison, where, Allison, you're from Lourdes, right? No, nope, uh, San Juan Opico. Oh, yeah, San Juan Opico. You're from San Juan Opico, yes. All right, what about you, Ana Garcia? 
I'm from Santa Tecla. Oh, you're from Santa Tecla. Good. And you, Jose Francisco? No, I'm from Tehutepe. Go Hutepeque. Wow. Oh my God, nobody from San Salvador. Wow, that's a first. Rodrigo, where are you from? Paz. I'm sorry? I'm from La Paz. You're from La Paz? And what about you, Diego Anthony? Uh, I'm from La Paz Este. I'm sorry, from where? Eh, La Paz Este. Oh, you're speaking the new terms now. Yes, yes, yes. Eh, oh, okay. Hey, la Paz, hey, Zacatecoluca. Oh, okay. Hey, primera vez que oigo a alguien decir eso. Y hay que acostumbrarnos. La Paz Este. Okay, cool. Hey, really, that's the first time I, I, I hear somebody say that now. All right, cool. Okay, um, and we have Rosa Maria. Are you in class, Rosa Maria? Hello. Hi, where are you from? Um, I'm from Candelaria, Cuscatlan. You're from Cuscatlan area? Yes. All right, all right, good. Okay, so class, welcome. Let's get started. So let me see. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, teacher. Good. So we're going to start module three, generally speaking. Okay, so. At the end of this section, participants will be able to practice using clauses and phrases showing contrast. Okay. Do you understand what a clause is? Uh, yes, using if. Using if, okay, that's one. What else? Uh, also using when. Okay. So, do you see my screen in this moment? Yes. What yes. do you see? Do you see Google? Clause meaning. Okay, good. Yeah. So look. A clause is very simple. What is a clause? A clause is a group of words that includes a subject and a verb. For example, the dog barks when the postman arrives. What is the subject? The dog. The dog. What is the, um, the verb? Barks. 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 There are two verbs actually, arrives and barks, but the dog barks when the postman arrives. So in this case, it says, what is a clause? A clause is a group of words that includes a subject and a verb. That's simple. What is a subject? No, 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 no. What is the definition of a subject? What is it? Is uh, someone the statements uh, said about about uh, him? Is the one that performs the action? Yes. In a uh -huh. sentence. The subject is who or what does the action? Okay, is who or what does the action? Not only a person, because it can be a car. The car hit the post. 
What is the subject? The car, correct? So a subject is a person or an object that does the action. What is the action? It's the verb. Okay, so here we're going to use using clauses and phrases showing contrast and exceptions. Hi, well. So, did you hear the lady? Yes. Yeah, yeah for a short okay. time. Yes, right, come to advanced three. You're about to learn how to show contrast and exception. Stay and pay attention to the explanation. Clauses and phrases showing contrast and exception. Use while, unlike, and in contrast to in order to present contrasting information, especially in writing. While the typical Italian person thinks the school is boring, the typical Japanese person doesn't. Unlike the Japanese, Italians seem to drink a lot of bottled water. In contrast to Italian drivers, Japanese people drive on the left. Use except that, except for, and except for the fact that to show an exception. Both like TV, except that the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Italian and Japanese people are fairly different, except for the age they get married. Japanese people typically consume less, except for the fact they drink more tea. The conjunctions while unlike and in contrast to, show contrast between the information in two clauses of a sentence. For example, in contrast to most Americans, people here usually live with their parents until they are married. The conjunctions except that, except for, and except for the fact, show an exception. Note, when conjunctions come at the beginning of a sentence, the two clauses are separated by a comma. Okay, first of all, I want I want to I want you to understand what is while. Who can give me an example with while? I am listening to music while I am driving. I'm sorry, excuse me? I'm listening to music while I am driving. While I'm driving or while I'm writing? Or driving. Reading? Driving, okay. Okay, good, good. Who can give me another example? I am eating uh, an apple while I reading the book. I'm eating an apple while I'm reading a book. Okay, good. Anything else? I dance while cleaning. All right, good. I arrive home while it start to rain. Okay, bodies, mm, good. Uh, there's, no, it's not correct. And I will I explain think. why. I will explain why. I will explain why, because I is when. When, but I will explain, but thank you. Thank you for that example. So any more examples? I say no while I listen to the class. Okay, good. Okay, good. So very good, yes. So when we say while, that means two actions are happening at the same time. Yes, two act. You're doing two act. I mean, you are doing two actions in the same moment. Like me, I am drinking coffee while I'm teaching class. Yes? Yes. Uh, Jose Francisco, I believe you told me 
I am listening to music. I am listening to music while I drive. Correct. Or Jose, I'm sorry, it was Jose, Jose Isaias, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, in this case, one thing is very important. Remember, you're doing two actions in that moment. So if if you do if that moment is present continuous, the two actions are present continuous. Yes, you can't you can't say I am drinking coffee while I teach. No, it's I am drinking coffee while I'm teaching class. I am listening to music while I am driving. Okay. Boris, you said okay. I arrived home while it's raining. In this case is when. And let me explain why. When we the difference between while and when is that when we say when is a second action interrupting your action. Let me let me give you a better example. I was sleeping when you called me. So do you understand what what happened what happened there? Did I continue sleeping? No. Why? Because you called me. So we say when is when that action interrupts the first action. Do you understand? Yes, I got it. Did you all right, cool. Thanks. So it's it's similar, but yes, it's a little bit different. When we say when and while, once again, while is for is when two actions are happening in the in that moment, or two actions at the same time. But when we say when, it's when one action interrupts the other. All right. Okay. So let's see the video, the next. Do you have questions? No questions. Okay. Okay, do you understand? Yes. Yes, sir. All right, let me check. Jose Jovito. Jose Jovito, I've been your teacher before too, correct? He's calling. A long, long time because I remember Jovito. Yes. I remember. I remember. I asked you once about your name. Uh, do yes. Did you understand the difference between while and when, Jose? While and when? No. Uh, did you understand the difference? Mm, no. No teacher. I, I I I just explained the difference between while and when. Uh, while is in, in Spanish mientras. Uh -huh. uh, when cuando is different. This concept is different. Okay, okay. Cua let's say digamos esta clase en español. Cuando uh -huh. se usa mientras y cuando se usa cuando. It's the same grammar in English in Spanish. Uh -huh. Why uh, why for me for the future? For actions for the future. Why? Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, let me see. Maria Susena is Jose Jovito, correct? Uh, no. No. Can you explain to him when do you use while? A uh, while. We have to use when two actions are doing and happening. When two actions are happening 
in the same time. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Can you give Jose Jovito an example, please? Yes, yes. I, I agree with Maria to action. Yes. So uh -huh. it's not necessarily future. Uh -huh. Well, it can to be action. future. It can be future. But remember, it has to be two actions in the future or two actions in the present or two actions in the past. It depends. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. It's clear. Mm -hmm. Like imagine if my son becomes a famous soccer player and he plays in Barcelona, I can speak future. I will be living in Barcelona while my son is playing for the Barca team. Example, right? But that's future. But I a while, so two actions will be happening in the future. Present, I am drinking coffee while I am talking to you. That's present. Now let's do past. Yesterday, I was sleeping while my wife was watching TV. All right. Okay, let's see the next. Rafael Antonio, can you please read number one? And then read the three options, please. While, while most Ameri Americans live on their own before marriage, a student here study either in the morning or, or the afternoon. Uh, people here don't usually have more than one TV, or people here usually live with their parents until they get married. Okay, what is the correct? Mm. The pe people here don't usually have no, uh, sorry people here usually live with their parents until they get married okay good so now can you read me the complete example while most Americans live on their own before marriage can you read it please Rafael, can you please read the example and then the correct answer, please? Hello, Rafael, can you hear me? Okay, good. Yeah, so I repeat it again, okay. please. Can you please read the complete sentence? Do you understand my question, Rafael? Uh, really, no, no. Okay, please read the complete sentence. Okay, you see, here it says, while most Americans live on their own uh, before marriage, read the complement too. So you can add the complete sentence. Please. While, while most American live on their own before marriage, People they here usually live with their parents until they get married. Very good. Now, Rafael, do you understand what you read? Yeah. What do you understand? Uh, the 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 first the first uh. Uh, the last part is the complement of the, the first. Yes. Okay. Sentence. Okay. No, but what do you understand about the story? Not the grammar. What do you understand about the story? Oh, oh uh, uh, the American people when is, when is, um, uh, 
a single, uh, usually live with uh, with their parents. Okay. And in El Salvador? No, hasta que de veras se van. What about in El Salvador? In El Salvador, people live with their parents after they get married. Yeah. All <laughs> right. And if it is possible, they are going to take away their parents out of the house. Oh, yes. <laughs> that happened. Yes, it's true. It's true. Um, yeah, you know, in the United States, and not, not necessarily before you get married, because now people don't want to get married in the United States, but like usually in the United States, when you're 18, you're out. You go live somewhere else. It's, it's, it's a custom. Like when you finish high school, you go and you live by yourself or with your friends. And in El Salvador, no, in El Salvador, you can be 45, single, and still live with your parents. And there's no problem. Your parents are happy and you are happy. Who is single here? Is everybody married? Yes. No. Wait, I know Claudia is not married, but Claudia, I remember you live with your father, correct? At, no, Allison is married. Claudia, yes. Marcela, are you married? Not yet. You're not married. Okay. Um, I'm sorry if I may, if I may ask, how old are you? Uh, 28. You are 28. Mm -hmm. Do you live with your parents? My whole family, yeah. Okay. Why? Because you want to, correct? It's cheaper than live alone. Okay, no, but but also you love your family. You can't imagine yourself without your mother, correct? Yeah. Yeah. That's how Latinos are. A veces it's not because it's so much because it's cheaper, but also like, especially women. No, no puedo estar lejos de mi mami. Yeah. I remember when I got married, my wife called her mother every day, every two minutes. And sometimes they cry. I was, oh my God. <laughs> And the funny thing is that we live five blocks, five blocks distance. <laughs> and but you know it's the custom. So so in Pocapolaris in El Salvador, okay, Claudia, she's 28. And where do you live? Oh, I live with my parents. Oh, that's cool. In the United States, it would be what? Why? It's like something like shocking. And but for Latinos, it's something very, very normal. All right. Okay. Um Okay, Claudia Marcela, read number two, please. Um, unlike the average American student, LRA students here study either in the morning or the afternoon. There will be people here that usually have more than one TV. Let us see people here usually live with their parents until they get married. I think the letter A, unlike the average American student, a student here study either in the morning or the afternoon. Okay. Yes, this is mostly for um, high school students, right? That you study in the morning or in the afternoon. Okay, number three. Let's have a man do it today. All right, Dennis, number three, please. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry. No problem. Okay, in contrast to most Americans, 
people here don't usually have more than one TV. Okay, good. I don't know what country this is, but in El Salvador now it's normal to have two or three TVs in your house, right? Or a TV in every room. Even the room that you don't use, there there is a TV there. Aunque sea de las viejas, but there's a TV there. That's true. The big boxes. Huh. The ones that no no one wants. Yeah. I, I have a, a TV in every room in my house, I think. But the big, beautiful one is in my living room. My yeah. baby. The one I worry about when there's an earthquake at night. I said, oh my gosh, that temblando. And I immediately run to the TV. Mm. <laughs> okay, and then it says part two. Instructions, type the conjunction that is being used in each sentence. Use a capital letter, not period is needed. Not, no period is needed. So what is the conjunction for number one? While. 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 What is the conjunction for number two? Should I have a question? Allison, what are you watching? Okay. Yes, Jose, you say yes. What is your question? Uh, what is the difference between unlike and contrast? Okay, um, unlike is totally the opposite. Are you married? No, I'm single. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Hey, what happened? I remember you had a girlfriend. That uh, history is over. <laughs> oh, man. Love hurts. <laughs> Love hurts. Okay, when, when, the reason why I was asking you is like, for example, when you say unlike is something totally different, it's like a different world. Like, let me okay. give you an example. Unlike my wife, I hate shopping. Oh, okay. So what do you think my wife, do you think she hates or she loves shopping? She loves shopping. Exactly. But that's something like, I hate, she loves. Or mm -hmm. vice versa. All right. Okay. Let me see In what... Spanish, a diferencia de. Uh -huh. Exactly. Teacher, uh, you said that is a uh, totally different. Yes, I can say uh, uh, my wife uh, loves uh, soap opera, but I hate. Uh, I I don't I don't like soap operas. Well, you when you say that, you have to say like, unlike my wife, I hate soap operas. Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You don't like soap operas? What is that? Not at all. Yes, they're funny. Soap operas like um, La Reina del Sur, Dos Mujeres Un Camino. Oh. Those I are prefer K-drama. 
K drama. What is K drama? Uh, there are soap operas, but they, they oh, they're complement Korean. Oh, I heard they're good. I heard they're good. Yes. Yeah. Can can teacher can you type that word on the chat? No, the one that you mentioned before. <laughs> Swap opera. Okay. I never hear that word before. The, the soap operas, oh. yeah, they're, they are so horrible, man. No, but you know why they're horrible? Because the acting is so terribly. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's separated. I'm sorry, it's two words. Yeah, I hate soap operas. Well, they're funny, though. Es que entiéndeme, yo te amo, maldita sea. Y si no sos mía, no serás de nadie, porque te mataré. That's how they act. It's and funny. the whole name. Claudia oh, yeah. Maria. <laughs> uh -huh. y, y unos nombres bien, bien, bien rebuscados. ¿eh? Como Plutarco Ismael. Escúchame. Luz Manía de Los Ángeles. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so next lesson, it says, in this class, section participants will be able to talk about the typical student in the class and practice grammar lessons, as well as to learn and practice using adjectives, verbs, phrases, relating to accepting things as they are or making changes. Hmm, let's see this. Hi, how typical are you? To find out, complete this profile. Then share your answers with your class. Are you typical? I have never shopped online. I eat breakfast every morning. I have a full or part-time job. I have visited a foreign country. I use public transportation. I keep a daily personal diary. Now look at these adjectives, verbs, and phrases. Put them in the right column below, then share your answers in class. Should I just go with the flow? Adjectives, amenable, conservative, nonconformist, rebellious, and conventional. Verbs, accept, conform, conform to, confront, Rebel, rebel against, stand up, stand up to, stand up for. Phrases, be your own person, challenge the status quo, fit in, follow the crowd, make waves. Now on your notebook, make a chart similar to this one and write the adjectives, verbs and phrases. Yeah, okay, let's I do this. All right, are you a typical? Have you ever shopped online? Yes, I have. Okay, this is interesting, Alan. What? What in in, in Amazon? Um. Yes, in Amazon and also AliExpress. AliExpress. Okay. Can you tell me about your experience? Like, did you have it delivered to El Salvador? Uh, with Amazon, no. Uh, familiar. Uh, I don't know. A familiar. It, it is correct to say, familiar. A family member, or a relative. A, a family member. A family member. Uh, um, brings the things that I shop online. 
What about AliExpress? Uh, well, there uh, the shipping is included in the most of the items. Items, mm -hmm. sorry, and uh, but it takes uh, around three months. Are you serious? Yes, because it, it, the 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 mercancy are shipped. Merchandise. Ship it. The merchandise are shipped from China. Okay. And the delivery is the sorry the the cost of the of the shipping is uh not too expensive. Okay. What did you buy in AliExpress? Um, twenty eighteen, I bought a cell phone. Okay, you bought a cell phone. I'm sorry, how much was the cell phone? Uh, one hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty dollars. That's how much you paid for everything. Yes, it was the uh, Xiaomi cell okay. phone when so, uh, Xiaomi didn't exist here in Salvador. Okay, so they sent you, so you only paid $150 to AliExpress, right? What about yeah, and around seven or $8 for the shipping. Okay, so when it arrived in El Salvador, did you pay El Salvador more, like taxes? <laughs> Uh, yes, to the Correos del Salvador, uh -huh, to but the mail. National um, mail. yeah, the national mail. Is that expensive? It's uh, $250. Oh, okay, so it wasn't bad. If if you go to the to the location, if if they send you the the package, uh, you have to pay five dollars. Watch. And, I'd rather pay the package. Yeah, it it depends because uh, after that I I bought uh, a set of uh, nails stuff mm -hmm. and it it cost five dollars because it was like this size. Oh, so is the, they charge <laughs> depending on the size. The size and the weight. Okay. Now, does Amazon ship to El Salvador? Uh, in the website, the, yes, but it's really expensive. It is. With... It, what about eBay? Mm, uh, I don't. I don't trust in eBay. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. That's interesting. You know, be, I'm I'm asking this because I have never bought online. Um, I don't know why. Be, everything I want to buy is big, so. <laughs> but have you ordered food online? Yes. Oh yeah, frequently. It's almost the same. I am even friends with all. I think all the pedidos. Yeah, yeah, me pueden like. <laughs> <laughs> the same. Uh, I don't know how to say repartidor. The same delivery guy. Yeah, the same delivery guy goes to go go to your to do your home. <laughs> yeah, I know like five of them already. Yeah. Okay. Because I work from home, so sometimes I'm hungry and um, I don't have time to cook for lunch, or maybe I don't want to. I just order mm -hmm. food. Yeah, that's nice. And the cool thing is that by where I live, El Choi is gratis because I live like three blocks from him. El Choi, so the tortas, they're free. Like, all right. So um, that's buying shopping online. I believe everybody eats breakfast in the morning. Mm. Not every day. <laughs> Not every day, but okay. Let's do this. Uh, do you eat a typical breakfast, like a typical? Salvadorian breakfast or a modern breakfast now? A modern breakfast now is pancakes, muffins, it depends. toasts. It depends. Sometimes I, I, I eat toasts or pancakes or cereal, but sometimes I also eat 
uh, eggs and fried beans and yeah. Um, toast is the in, in, in intercontinental breakfast, correct? It's I don't toast. know. It's toast and and juice, I think. Mm, I I don't know. Yes, I eat a toast with the avocado. Oh, nice. <laughs> Miren clases, no se deben bajar, según día van a un hotel y le dicen, no, incluye el desayuno. Oh, really, nice. Y de repente uno va viendo un pedazo de tostada con mantequilla y jugo. What the hell? Sí, es el desayuno continental, le dice. Many people Or get a angry. With no, a but, coffee. Yeah. That's the intercontinental <laughs> breakfast. It's like nothing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And people are, are help are very like happy, like, yeah, we get, hey, por lo menos nos hablamos de breakfast. And, and when they see it's just the one little piece of toast. It's your snack. It's just a snack. It's a snack, <laughs> yes. All right, class, uh, does anybody have a part-time job? No? That's not very common in El Salvador of part-time. And usually the part-time jobs either are call centers or informal jobs right have you ever visited a foreign country use public transport i have not used the public transportation in whew, i think in 15 or 20 years until last month because i didn't have a car for a month and one day i took the bus but but listen to this. The last time I took a bus, it was really when when you would actually put your cell phone inside your shoe y todo, and you look at everybody, you know. So I was scared. I was scared. And everybody in the bus, they had their tablets, their cell phone, their earbuds, their, wow, how, how things have changed. And the bus had air conditioning. I was like, wow, this is cool. And when the person passed, le pregunté, ¿cuánto vale? Y se me quedó viendo, like, are you serious? Like, yeah. But the public transportation. But I like it. I like not driving. Okay, uh, let me see the adjectives. Okay, here we have the adjectives. Do you see what is amenable? Do you think you're an amenable person? What is amenable? Thank you for the question. I was going to ask that, but I just want to see if anybody's listening. Yeah. Um, I have an idea for the way that it sounds. So it may be like, well, I'm not going to say in Spanish what is the word, but it's yeah, like yeah, don't say it. Mm -hmm. when you get along with everybody and everybody likes you. They don't necessarily like you, though. Okay, let me give you an example. I have problems because <clears throat> like, you know, in, in my case, I am an atheist. Do you know what is an atheist? No. Ateo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So when I sometimes when I tell that and somebody is very religious, they get angry. They tell me, what? How is that possible that you don't believe in God? In Michael, like, oh, God, siempre estamos a lot about religion. I win. But so the conversation is not gonna be any more amenable, right? Exactly. So it's like it, it may it, it, it applies for a conversation, mm -hmm. right? So, so yeah, so that person is the contrary of amenable. Amenable is like, hey, that's cool. I'm open. Yes, an amenable person. Catch. You know, I I I I love, I really, really love to talk about religions and politics, but to people who are amenable. Open mind. Exactly, people that, because 
I learned something new. Like, hey, that's a good point. But sometimes when you start talking to people who are very close minded and you start arguing and you just nah, forget it, you know, that's not amenable. So amenable is like when you're an open to suggestions, you're open to ideas. Yeah. That's being amenable. And the right. reason why I say I'm atheist, because when you are atheist, you are an amenable person because you listen to everything. So I can actually sit down and I listen to a Mormon. I listen and, and I really pay attention to what he tells me. Or I listen to a Jehovah Witness. And to see who I, I like to listen to them. Or I listen to a, a Catholic. Or so I can listen to every religion. As a, a satanic person, I can listen to them. Because I am open to, like, hey, this is nice. But when you are when you are very close mind, you won't listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's 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 being amenable. Okay, next is conservative. That's similar in Spanish, right? So if you're a conservative person, I don't think you're amenable. <laughs> That's relative. Yeah. Because it, it depends on what things you are, you are conservative. So for example, in, how do you say, in both, I, no, is values, how do you say valores, is values? Values. Value, or principles right? mm -hmm. or principles exactly mm -hmm. sometimes a, a person that have principles or values and are those are very strong in that person it may be considered um conservative yeah. but sometimes that kind of person uh, can be amenable because it's good to have a conversation with someone that is gonna i don't know respect or I don't know if you get the idea I don't have yes. any specific example but I, I think that it, it can be uh, both a person can be conservative and amenable yeah that's true because I consider myself amenable but I'm also conservative hmm. for example no, and it could be both yes. you, you can be conservative in some in a specific some specific things and you can be a, a, a new, how do you say, like? Different. A, the different or the, the, the antonym of conservative. Mm -hmm. So for example, so, someone conservative is someone that is not gonna change uh, their old cell phone or stuff old, Yeah. but but sometimes uh, people that love technology. So I love technology, but mm -hmm. other kind of things, uh, I am conservative. For example, I would like to have an old motorcycle like like a Vespa or or a Bocho, but mm -hmm. in technology like cell phone or computer or TV uh, or. Uh, let's say new technologies like ChatGPT. I don't know if you have listened for about ChatGPT, stuff like that. Uh, artificial intelligence. I, mm -hmm. I I want to be uh, always with the new. Okay. I would like yeah. to be always with the, with the new. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, usually, people are when when people say they're conservative are in selective things. They're conservative in religions or politics. You know, and politics is everything. Like, um, like right now, the 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 LGBT. That's politics. Yes, mm -hmm. and that maybe I am conservative. Like, if 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 a man tells me, "Hi, my name is Carla," hi Carla, I will call, I will call that man Carla because okay, I will accept that, but. I, 
I, you will not, uh, for me, you are a man. <laughs> okay, you're not a woman, exactly. you are a man. But if, if you want me I to agree. call you Carla, I will call you Carla. Okay, no problem. Hi, Carla, good, nice to meet you. But, you know, so yeah, and that's politics, you know. So yeah, but many people are conservative, non-conformist. Oh man, in El Salvador in this moment, we're very, uh, there's a lot of people non-conformist. I've noticed that in, in politics. Have you noticed that there's a lot of non-conformist people now in politics? Why? Yeah. Hmm? I don't know why. No, like for example, um, like the president, you know, people love him, people hate him, but like really, really, I think everybody has seen a little difference, you know? A little change, but there's people like nonconformists. Like, uh, example, he's putting all the Maderos in jail. Then people say, "Yeah, but there, there's innocent people there." And, or uh, he he makes a stadium. Yeah, but there's hospitals, and and it's true, and it's true, and um, and and it's true. But what I'm telling you is the nonconformists. I never heard so many people with the previous governments. People didn't care. <laughs> like nobody complained. <laughs> or maybe because of social media now. Rebellious, unconventional. We have the verbs, accept, conform, confront, rebel. Stand up. Okay, meeting the phrases. Be your own person, challenge. Do, do you understand this expression? Challenge. Should I just go with the flow? Challenge the status quo. Do you understand that expression? Bueno, creo que no. está en español, ¿no? Yeah, the status quo is actually is Latin, but it's yeah, Latin. It, it's, it's Latin, and yeah, we use we use a psychologists and a lot of people use that expression, so. Mm -hmm. what so is, it's like to be pro progressive. Yes, challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, be different. Challenge the status quo. Fit in. Do you understand what is fit in? Like in, in Spanish, is encajar. Yes, encajar exactly. It's like I was speaking with my coworkers. In my group, there's five people in my group. And um, I am the oldest. I am the oldest in my group and I don't fit in. And it's funny because some are from Costa Rica, some are from Guatemala, and they were all telling me, hey, it's better like a marshmallow is going to be in El Salvador for a concert. I said, yes. Bahaid. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? I understand. Yeah, you know, like, I don't like electronic music. Why? I don't like it. I don't so understand. You, you don't fit, fit in, in your group for no, a because certain topic. You know, the funny thing is that they told me, why don't you like it? I said, I don't understand it because I like rock music. And you know, like for example, if you I prefer to see Slash from Guns N' Roses playing the duo, the, the guitar solo in November rain. Can you imagine being in front of a I don't know, the patch mode or go see in front of the concert or watching a man behind a a, a, a laptop <laughs> doing nothing. But they told me, ah, because you're old. And I said, no, actually, <laughs> electronic music been in the Lojotas, man. And even in the 80s, I don't like it. It's just, and I and you know, that, that's the problem with many people, the young generation. They think they think that um that if you don't like things now, it's because you're old and it's not that. And, and I tell them, look, for me, music is art. And for me, art is talent. Now, I'm not saying electronic music is bad. 
I just don't see the art in that. It's like, for example, I don't see the art in reggaeton. I, because, hmm? I like uh, pop music and also some type of electronic music. Oh, me too. And I like pop I music. Understand, I, I understand your your point, but uh, I, I before I, I don't know the fast of thing. <laughs> thought. I thought that uh, uh, the DJs just uh, mix music, but it's more than that. I, no, I discovered. I, I, I yes, I discovered that they modify the frequency, and it's not easy to modify the frequency of the sounds, uh, or the velocity. Mm -hmm. It it's not. Yeah, it's okay to say velocity. Yes, velocity. It, but yes, you know, but you know, then I think the talent is more technological than instrumental then. You know? Yeah, but <laughs> but it, mm, I think most of the DJs have to study the sound and mm, more they, they also play some instruments. It's just that they like more electronic than uh, instruments. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they are more in sound. But I don't know. I like my groups that they just have a natural talent. Like, uh, have you heard a group called Radiohead? Yes. The singer, the singer plays, I think, like five instruments, and he can't read music. He has one of the greatest voices, the pitches. Llega casi al nivel de, de Freddie Mercury, and he never took a lesson. So he's naturally, he's a, he's a talent. He, he says, I can't read music. So when he plays the guitar, he just records because he, he doesn't. Be mayor, se menor. He doesn't, he can't read that. But I, I do understand that because I have friends that are DJs and I have gone to parties with them or I have seen them play. But I understand what they're doing, but still, I don't like it. <laughs> but that's me, though. I mean, I just. Oigo lo mismo. You know, but people like it. People like it. But anyway, so what I was telling is that I don't fit in with my with my group. But, you know, but we get along, but I just don't fit in. But so don't fit in. It doesn't, it's not really something negative, negative, negative. It's just I don't fit in. I I understand because I, I, I work uh, in a field that is not what I studied in the university. Mm -hmm. So when I start the training on my actual company, on the actual company, mm -hmm. uh, most of the most of the people who were like twenty one or twenty two or twenty, mm -hmm. and I I I were twenty five. I was sorry, <laughs> I was twenty five, and sometimes I don't understand the humor. Yeah, it happens. But you know, but if there's respect, that's cool. Uh, if there's respect, you know, it's nice. Okay, class, and uh, follow the crowd. Oh, you see, when that happens, sometimes you have to follow the crowd. What is follow the crowd? And when it's about any, say la onda, what say la onda? You just follow the crowd. Say la corriente. Exactly. Yes. Hay un dicho en inglés que dice, when in Rome, do as Romans do. Do you understand that? When in Rome, do as Romans do. Hey, cuando estás en Roma, Hacer lo que hacen los romanos. ¿Qué hacen? No, that's not the point. Ser romano. You know, just mirar lo que hacen and just do it. 
Pero, y de hecho cortan esa, esa gran oración y solo la dejan en mitad como, hey, when in Rome, do as Romans do. Oh my God, imagine going to a, to a, ¿cómo se llama? Una convención de reggaetón. No, oh man, yo me salgo, aunque me dice la gente, follow the crowd. When in Rome, do as Romans do. And it's, no, no, I can't. I start running, no puedo. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Renuncio, I quit. No, I'm joking. Okay, class, then um, I will see you tomorrow. We'll continue tomorrow, okay? So once again, please, thank you for the people that have the camera. Thank you for people who participated. Please participate. Le voy a decir una cosa de verdad. En mi vida, casi 20 años de dar clases, le, creo que se lo voy a explicar rapidito, el peor error que tenemos todos, de hecho lo sigue haciendo el, la educación de idiomas acá, que los alumnos van a clase a tomar notas y aprender. Y así debe ser, pero piensan que inglés es igual. Entonces, si se dieron cuenta, hoy solo participaron dos o tres personas. Ya las conozco y van a ser quizás las en toda la... Y se van a dar cuenta los que no participan. Está bien. Pero la diferencia de un idioma a otra materia es que el, este idioma, el idioma, si uno no lo pone en práctica, no lo va a, no lo va a aprender. Es como ir a una clase de manejo. Si todos tuviéramos una clase de manejo hoy, solo tres personas se subieron al carro a manejar. El resto estuvieron sentados solo viendo que okay, ya mañana lo voy a hacer. Mañana van a pasar las 30 clases y nunca se metieron al carro a manejar. ¿Por qué? Porque a manejar se aprende. A hablar se aprende. Todo lo que es un verbo, y esto es muy importante, oigan esto. Hay cosas que se estudian, hay cosas que se aprenden. Todo lo que es un verbo se aprende. Irónicamente no se necesita estudiar mucho para eso. ¿Se acuerdan para planchar? Planchar es un verbo. Tuvieron que aprender a planchar, aprender a bailar, aprender a caminar. ¿Ya? ¿Yes? Alison estudió computador, que eh, estudió sistemas. Eso sí es estudiar. No, mechatronics. I'm And... sorry. Eso. <laughs> Digamos, leyes. <ríe> Let's say laws. Eso sí lo estudió porque necesita guardárselo y tenérselo en su disco duro interno. Yes. Eso sí se absorbe, pero ya, pero oigan cómo pasa esto de ejercer a ser abogado. Estudia leyes. Leyes no es verbo. Pero ya But está. I have to learn to think. And it's, it was really difficult. Yeah. Because we we cannot uh, learn to think in just not thinking. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, class. Entonces, en conclusión, eso les digo. Eh, hay mucha gente que le da pena preguntar. Y está bien, hay mucha gente que no sé, hay más gente que realmente no participa y piensan que por obra de magia van a aprender y quizás hay alguien así, pero de verdad no que he conocido mucho a alguien que y por eso es que pasa la famosa y uff, cuántas veces he oído eso, mire yo tengo un problema yo lo entiendo todo, pero a mí lo que me cuesta es hablarlo y ahí está ahí está la razón, porque quizás todo el tiempo cuando estudiaron inglés desde chiquitos, desde la universidad, todo lo que sea, nunca lo estudiaron, o sea, nunca lo aprendieron, solo tomaban notas. Eh, cuando yo estaba estudiando, me acuerdo para ser profesor, nos decían, generalizando, ¿ok? Nos decían, hubo una cosa que estudiamos que dice que la diferencia de un joven a un adulto y a un adulto mayor. 
¿Por qué a veces le cuesta más a un adulto mayor que a un joven? Aunque este adulto mayor ya sea licenciado, doctorado y tenga como seis títulos. Pero siempre un niño de 15, 20 años va a absorber mejor que él. Generalmente hablando, hay excepciones. Y es por el nivel de vida. Un muchacho de 15, 20 años no tiene nada que preocuparse en la vida solo por su novio o novia. Que no, las cosas malas que está haciendo, que no se van a dar cuenta los papás y estudiar. Ya, ya cuando pasa la U, ya es un poco más estrés por las, por las materias, pero de hecho aún no tiene responsabilidades, no tiene más, otra cosa más que estudiar. Ya cuando ya se casan, ya cuando empiezan a tener un trabajo, si tienen muy buen trabajo y es bastante demandante, ya empiezan la, las, las, los estreses, estrés del hogar, estrés del trabajo, estrés del tráfico. Entonces, en pocas palabras, el ser humano puede aprender a tener 27 cosas nuevas diarias. 27 cosas nuevas podemos aprender diarias. Eh, en teoría. ¿verdad? Y en inglés, por lo menos aprendamos dos o tres. Pero tienen que practicar, tienen que participar. Tienen que hablar. Okay. Sorry, teacher. ¿Mande? No, 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 no problem. No, problem. no, no yo le estoy eh, diciendo porque... Yes, go ahead. No, eh, solo quiero señalar el punto, ¿verdad? Este, uh, yo he estado viendo, analizando la clase, ¿verdad? Porque este, yo pensaba que iba a ser así como que usted iba a indicar la participación, creía yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, este, no es de que uno no esté pendiente de la clase, que no la esté entendiendo no, claro. o no tenga una idea, ¿verdad? Simplemente es de que yo este, estoy eh, conociendo la clase, cómo es que usted la va a dar. Entonces, ahora yo comprendo de que usted da la clase de una forma de que yo, oh, yo digo, ah, yo le voy a decir esto, va. Entonces, yo creía que la participación iba a ser que usted nos iba a indicar a, a persona por persona, vaya. Usted, sí, exacto. Y, y fíjense, no, y tiene mucha... Por eso, he tenido mis ideas, pero eh, igual no he participado por eso, ¿verdad? Porque yo creía que íbamos a ir en orden. Entonces, mm -hmm. no es que haya estado y, igual que imagino los compañeros, ¿verdad? No solo de espectador, sino que estamos aprendiendo. Ahorita yo he aprendido este, estas dos palabras, un like. Wow, y un muy bien. Eh, eh, ¿Sabe, me sabe... uh -huh. Ok. Entiendo, fíjese que me gustaría hacerlo individual, pero ¿sabe cuál es el problema? Si usted vio al principio de la clase, empecé individual y vamos bien. Hay 17, 16 alumnos ahorita en clase. De estos 16 que yo sepa, hay 5 que no sé si están en clase o no. Porque todos están en mudo, no tienen cámara. Pueda que me estén oyendo, pueda que no, pero ya les pedí al principio de la clase. Por favor, ninguno me ha escrito, me ha dicho, yo, yo no tengo cámara, no tengo esto y esto. Entonces, sí. yo tendría que ignorar a esos alumnos. Sí. Y solo me quedo con los que están activos, que fue lo que les pide al principio, ¿se acuerdan? Entonces, ya sí. el segundo, en la segunda mitad de la clase empecé a preguntar en general. Uh -huh. En general, y a eso es lo que me referí de que solo, en este caso, Alison, Dennis, pero yo, ellos, yo he estado con ellos antes, por eso quizás ellos ya me pueden. Sí. Sí. Pero, sí. Eh, eh, sí, entiendo. Igual, y entiendes. No, claro, entiendo. Y muchas gracias por eso. Y qué bien que lo estamos aclarando. De hecho, uh -huh. uh, es peor porque a veces también eh, Insafor nos pide. Hay una opción aquí en, 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 en Zoom que dice los que no tengan video los podemos como... ¿Cómo se llama? No parecer, que, que no parezcan. Uh -huh. Pero yo no puedo hacer eso porque de repente hay alguno alguno de los ocho que no están conectados que me empieza a hablar y yo, sí, ¿quién me está hablando? ¿Qué, ¿Quién es? Porque solo me van a aparecer los que tienen cámara. Entonces no puedo hacer eso. Entonces eso es lo que voy, pero eh, entiendo. Muchas gracias por ese comentario también. Sí, pero igual, eso lo señalando en el punto de que, eh, por ejemplo, yo, yo estoy por primera vez eh, claro. con ustedes nota, ¿verdad? Entonces solo quería conocer cómo usted da la clase. No, y, y, de, hecho, y, de, y de hecho, y de hecho, 
de hecho, lo que yo le estoy diciendo es muy cierto, y, y no, no solo por hoy, no, no, pero está aquí sí. en adelante, donde ustedes estudien, cuando estudien un, un idioma, tengan bien presente eso, que el inglés se aprende y no se estudia. Y no es culpa de ustedes, sino que es el método que nosotros usamos desde niños, acostumbrados cuando vamos a una clase, tomar notas y a veces solo quedarse callados. ¿Me entiende? Entonces, es, es, es como lo que yo les dije hoy. Eso le señalaba el punto que, que a veces no es que, o sea, por ejemplo, en mi caso, ¿va? no es que yo estaba así por no participar o algo, sino que porque eh, no sabía cómo era su forma de trabajo. Ok, Entonces, claro. Eh, entiendo. No, usted, entiende, usted entiende lo que, lo que yo quise darle a entender. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok, pues, yeah, okay pero, Ajá. Entonces, vuelvo y les vuelvo a repetir a todos mañana, por favor pongan una cámara, si no la van a poner, ok. Pero lo que le digo, eh, eh, y entiendo a Insafor, pero es bien difícil saber si están activos o no. Entonces, si ahorita hubiera hecho la clase y solo hacerlo individualmente, hubiéramos sido tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve personas que estuviéramos hablando en la clase. Y hay como cinco más conectados, ¿no? bueno, no sé ahorita cuántos, sin cámara y el mudo, y no han hablado. Entonces, gracias a los que tienen cámara, de verdad no es pila mía, pero eh, con el tiempo se van a dar cuenta, porque ahorita sí, un ejemplo, si estamos, ok, Sara, Sara, por favor pregúntale a Zulma, Zulma, ask Allison, Allison, ask Pancho, y vamos a ver Pancho sin cámara ni nada. Y esto pasa siempre. Hello, I'm sorry, teacher. Yes, I'm sorry. Y siempre me dicen lo mismo. I'm sorry, no, no, eh, no, no. Es mentira, quizás tienen la clase de fondo y quizás vieron Pancho. Hey, oh, shit, me están llamando y ahí se vuelven a conectar. Esa es muy mala onda para la gente que está conectada. ¿Me entiendes? Yes. Excuse me, I want to say something. Uh, I'm ahead, with uh, I am with Sara because uh, I am thinking that uh, I knew in this class uh, mm -hmm. and I feel uh, that I'm going to be a little rude if I interrupt my classmate when no. I, they are participating. Uh, I uh, prefer to listen the class. I uh, try to get your methodology. And mm -hmm. after I, uh, well, maybe in the next uh, classes, I'm going to try to uh, participate. Yes, please. Uh, a bit, that's a bit, that's a bit hard, yeah. That's all I want. Please participate. Please ask questions. Any questions. Thank you, Jose Isaias. Today he asked me a question. I like that. May your teacher, I don't understand. Boom. Good. Thank you. Please ask me any questions. Participate. And and this is it. I mean, look, you are third. So you have a good, a good um a good level of English to speak. De hecho, podemos yo Puedo hacer toda la semana en dos días y podemos solo hacer actividades de hablar. Los hago en grupos los últimos dos días de clase. Sí. If you want to speak more, no problem. No problem. But what I really need is for you to participate, please. And no problem. Please, any question, please. There is no stupid question. No, no, no. Ask okay, any you. question. Ask any question you have. Participate in class. Mm -hmm. Prefieren que les haga individual. Ok, no problem. Lo único que vuelvo y repito, solo voy a hacer individual. Uh, voy a llamar a alguien que, que vea que está en clase. <ríe> y espero que después no se enojen porque, eh, mira, el teacher, no, yo no participo, nunca me llama. You know, but I promise you, if I see you in class, I will, you will participate. Okay. Or if imagine if you don't have a camera. Remember Allison and Dennis in the last class? Why it was Allison? Allison, creo que es primera vez que la veo en cámara. <laughs> no, no, I no no, but I, I remember last... I remember last in the in the last class, you never yes. had a camera, you never had a camera, but you were always very active. Yes, so I, yes, I was. It's uh -huh, because so when I, I have 
when I'm not at home or I'm eating or something like that, I prefer to take the class on the cell phone. And no, but, but it's uh, I don't but have. But you're active. Yeah. But you're active. I know you're in class because you're talking. So that's good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Sarah, for, for your comment. Sarah. Uh, Sulma, everybody, thank you. Uh, Fovito, thank you. Good to see you again. And tomorrow we're going to see different from most people their age. Ooh. Lo que estamos hablando hoy. Th things that are different from most people our age. That's what we're going to do tomorrow. Okay. So um, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a wonderful Monday. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye okay. bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Have a great day. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Bye bye. Good evening.